you doing? Making a Molotov cocktail to get us out of here. But isn't this the limited edition The Last of Us Moth and Wolf blended scotch whiskey? Yeah, aged in American oak barrels back in 2013. It's the last great thing the world produced. We're gonna blow it up. But it would be a sacrilege not to drink it all. Hey, did I hear you guys have a bottle of the limited edition The Last of Us Moth and Wolf blended scotch whiskey? Yep. You mean the whiskey created by master blender Kevin Bomforth in 2013 that blends notes of honey and vanilla that subtly lays the foundation for a rich, smoky taste that lingers but never overpowers the palate? That's the one! C can we have some? What's, What's up? up? What up, everybody? It's the Normies. Before we get to the reaction, I Let's want to go. talk about our sponsor, Moth and Wolf Limited Edition, The Last of Us Blended Scotch wow. Whiskey. That's right. This show has its what? own whiskey. This is they really this. nice packaging. When a scotch comes in a little box like this, like you know it's going to be good. Oh, yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. And <laughs> you really have to see the packaging up close and the bottle up close, but if you play the game, you'll notice a lot of Easter eggs on the packaging itself. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is yeah. like a collector's yeah, item yeah. to have. Yeah. I it looks awesome. I saw it already because we couldn't resist. This, yeah, this you is guys, cool. so, I personally don't even want to open this, but we're gonna open it. We're gonna try it. Thanks to Naughty Dog and Moth and Wolf yeah. for even creating this whole experience for us. Yeah. Cheers to you. And as Ron Swanson would have said in episode three, a nice glass of whiskey for the apocalypse. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like vanilla. Bro, vanilla. it is so smooth. It is probably one of the smoothest scotches I've had. That's wow. delicious. That's why I'm glad I ordered mine already. I ordered mine too. I ordered mine too. I got, I got, <laughs> hey, I this, ordered mine too. <laughs> this, is, this is limited edition. Once it's gone, it's, it's gone. gone. So grab your bottle. Uh, link is right here and also in the description. Use code Moth and Wolf to get 10% off your purchase. Yeah. You're going to want this for a party. People oh are going to be like, that is sick. Yeah. And you... Got it. They're not going to be able to get it in stores. Also, Moth Wolf's Instagram has a bunch of recipes, so check it out. I, I know our uh, skit in the beginning was a little cheesy, and it was like the notes of honey and uh, vanilla. But, like, it really but does. But like straight up, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, that line it's sweet. was ripped it's right a... from the website, and it is verbatim. All yeah, the things. It's really Subtly really laying the foundation mm -hmm. of a smoky f flavor that lingers but never overpowers. <laughs> Kevin Bomforth, you, you are a, you are you, a master. You, this Kevin is Bomforth. Nice. This is really good. Thank Anyways, you. guys, we're going to get to the reaction. Uh, but if you want a bottle, they're limited edition. They're going to be gone. Uh, use code Moth and Wolf to get 10% off your purchase. Link is here in the video, also in the description. We'll also be featuring this on our social media. Thanks for joining us. Here we go to the reaction. Cheers, yeah. you guys. Bye. Yeah. What up, y'all? It's the Normies coming at you with a little bit of Last of Us. The final episode! I am so freaking excited. Why are we here already? Names. I am Rana the Infected. My name is Chris Mr. Mushroom Johnson. Uh, my name is the Champion Marqueta. This is Mickey Molotov Verdi. Uh, Serge Baker. I am Spidey Portobello. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You guys, we're here at the finale already. I feel like this this was actually a, this went by too fast. It did. Lucky, I, yeah. I feel like we just I'm blinked. I'm sad that too this fast, is too over furious. now. It was quick, uh, especially considering we got that one episode on a Friday. Well, I guess that was still a week. I literally two feel months, like we two blinked, months. and yesterday we saw a bloater, and now we're at the finale. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Lucky, I, I'm oh. kind of hyped to actually go back and uh, just kind of blaze through it. Not like once yeah. we finish it, if I can just kind of go through every episode right in one sitting. I'm, I'm yes. gonna say one thing. If there's a cliffhanger in the end, I'm gonna flip this table. Or you should play the I'm game. Flip it. Or you should play the game. I, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, what I'm excited for is I want to see some more mushroom boys. I know we haven't had a lot of them. We talked about it deep in the discussion last time, but I think a couple mushroom boys for this last one would be a nice little mm -hmm. yeah. sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit of truffle, tru mm -hmm. tru truffle, <laughs> oil, little truffle butter on the uh, on the end, you know. What we got though was. It's been. But I agree, there could have been yeah. maybe a little bit more. You know, no one knows what let, let me get them Bill and Frank strawberries. Let me get them um, Bill and Frank. So we yeah. have. And hey, hope you enjoyed the skit in the beginning. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Moth and Wolf Blended Scotch Whiskey Limited Edition, The Last of Us Limited Edition. Only 1,100 bottles made. So if you skip the beginning, I'm going to remind you now. Uh, the link is in the description. Use code Moth and Wolf to get 10% off your purchase. Only 1,100 bottles made, and we've already bought a bunch. So we already bought a you bunch. Guys it's actually on. delicious. It is. You guys better get on it before it's gone. Thank you again to Moth and Wolf for sponsoring this episode. And we drink it all. Oh my God, yes, we drink it all. And if you guys want a really cool Last of Us glass, go check out our Instagram and Twitter. We're gonna be giving a giveaway, so make sure to follow us there. When in doubt, pinky out. Yeah. All right. I don't know. Is she alone again? Oh, never mind. Who is this? You can just uh -oh. tell by her grunting, you know? 
not a good time. Fuck. Oh my, what are those sounds? The are those infected? Oh, oh god, no! Okay, I think it's here we go. This is Ashley Johnson from Critical Role and Ellie from The Last of Us Game. This is Ellie. Oh, finally they put her in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is like Ellie Ellie. Nice. This is, this is the Ellie. What? The music is killing me. I don't know what you're what you're saying with that look anyway. Anyone? Bro, go in the basement and lock yourself. No. And try not to scream while giving right? birth. Yo. Yes, yeah, this is definitely nah, no, 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 Did you see out her mouth? Yeah. Did you see? Was it the only one? How? Oh, what? How? Just and all then, the screaming and grunting as yeah. I had still a birth. Oh my god, she pushed it oh out. Oh my god. Oh, oh my no. And then the umbilical cord. Yeah, the cord still there though. I think this is why she's immune. Yep. But travels that fast. Tie that shit off. Oh, oh! Little baby feeties. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's a real fresh baby. Oh! Ellie to Ellie, this is beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. Great cameo for Ashley Johnson. Oh! Oh! Does she? Marlene. Maybe she put the baby in She's another, still alive. In another still room. Alive. I would have locked myself somewhere. Yeah. But she'd hear the baby cry eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. Well, the baby was crying. Baby run, run far away, maybe? She's still alive. She's talking, so she all right. Wow, she got the fucking knife to her neck. Ugh. She needs to be fed. I didn't want to nurse her. Damn. Damn. I cut it before I was bit. False. Mm. Take her with you to Boston. Mm -hmm. Find someone to bring her up and make sure that she's safe. I can't do that. And what do you want? Give her this. You have to do it. Oh. I can't. I'll be damned if you're going to tell her no. I know so you pick her up right now. And then you kill me. You have to do it. Man, this is this gives so much weight to that knife too. This is so cool. I can't kill you. Come on, dude. That's fucked. Come on, dude. Are you serious? There's other people there. Please. Then leave me a gun with a bullet. They're friends, man. Yeah, ask ask someone else. Marlene. Bro, this is not how you're walking away from her. You know, I just think Marlene is just gonna do it. Take her outside. Shut the door. Loud. He didn't even cover her ears. He really didn't. Yeah. Dang. Just no goodbye or anything. That's what I was gonna say. Like, you guys were friends your whole life. Yeah. You about I, to, uh -uh. I, I know. I know that was that, hard. That would have made it harder. I know it was hard for her too, but damn. It's like how Joel walked away from Tess. Aww. Damn. I found this in there. Beefaroni, Chef Boyardee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's a big set. Yeah, 20 year old Chef Boyardee. Oh, a boggle. It's a word game. Peggy Hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you would have beat me at something, it would be this. Yeah, she's past the games now. Yeah, the guitar in that RV. Oh. You want to learn how to play guitar? Damn, things have changed. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff, find a skyscraper, go up on the ground. <laughs> this time I was thinking we'd blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? He's look he's trying so hard to That's hurt hilarious. Her off. Like 
Mm. Uh. Big red warning. This place is sus. Talk about bad luck. Military drops bombs. Not one of them hits the building in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's got jokes this episode. He's doing that thing when someone's in a bad mood, so you just keep talking to try yeah. to get them in a good mood. Mm -hmm. That's at least what I do. I get you up there. You can drop that ladder. Down. This is this is some game stuff right way. here. <laughs> Do you hear what I? Yeah. Boost. Got it. I can't remember if she if she was kind of like quiet like this in the game too. She was. Yeah, right. Even she, walking she, around as a companion, she yeah, stopped talking. Like to Like she you. had changed. What? Yeah. That's when I knew the game was a masterpiece. <laughs> Because they said it without saying anything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He should probably rinse off that thing he's standing on so he can get a palate cleanser. Uh. <laughs> 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 I feel like someone had to pull that <laughs> oh, oh, Why would that so dangerous? Fuck. But she does some shit Stay like this there. too. Well, I would have if you... Right? If you hadn't dropped the ladder on Girl! Bro, pull the ladder up. Why All should right. he be so reckless? It's an emergency. You know he can't go upstairs that fast, he old. Right? My man got 40 year old knees. Ellie! And a stab wound. What Where the hell did you see I from know. down there to up here? Was it an arrow that said fun stuff this way? <laughs> Bunch of candy in a trail? Come on, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah! It's, a, it's me, yes. It's Rana! It's me. <laughs> she went from Toys R Us logo to the. It's a Rana Raff. That makes sense. She probably saw the bottom part of its neck. Yeah. It's alright. Whoa! Oh. Where are the other ones? Uh, <laughs> we could only afford to rent one. What you got there, Playboy? Can we ride it? I'd be low key a little scared. What? They got weird tongues, but they're not a hurtful. Really? Heads. Oh, God. I love to ride. Oh, yeah. oh. See? <laughs> Yeah, she's smiling. Aww. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> she needed this Give right now shit. so bad. Damn, they can just eat like twigs and everything. Oh, like, but, but better. Great CG work. Yeah, Lee, please be careful. Okay. He's just happy that she's happy. I know. If your kids are sad because they have to murder someone, take them to the zoo. <laughs> nice. Look at the baby one. Oh, they're in a baseball field. There's a bunch of them. So. Is it everything you hoped for? Nice. Got its ups and downs. <laughs> you can't deny that view. Hmm. <laughs> Good callback. We don't have to do this. Oh. I just I want you to know that. What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? Nothing. You just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. And live a life. Bro, that's like six months away. Yeah. After all we've been through. It can't be for nothing. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Tommy's. Sheep ran. <laughs> the moon. We'll follow you anywhere you go. But there's no halfway with this. We finished what we started. I swing that dark saber, you chump. <laughs> <laughs> if there's giraffes, are there lions too? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, probably at least one from a zoo that escaped. No, it's Does gone to trash. <laughs> well, at one point. Emergency medical camps. They had me in one just like this. With Sarah? Hey, hey, hey. hey. No, she's gone already. Yeah, but look, he's talking so now. What's wrong with you? Yeah. It's for this. Ah, the guy who shot me missed. Well, I've got to hand it to the army people. They were way better at stitching him up than I was. It was me. I was the guy who shot and missed. Damn. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. And I wasn't scared either. I was ready. Oh, man. When you pull the trigger, I, I flinched. That's why I can't hear out of that ear either. Mm. So time heals all wounds, I guess. Mm, something like that. It wasn't time that did it. Aww. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great addition. I'm glad that that didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Oh. Do you know what I'm in the mood for? Ramen. Fuh. Shitty puns. <laughs> 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 Say less. <laughs> Do you know what I'm in the mood for? 
people are making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Too soon. Too soon. How about this one? Moon rocks taste better than earth rocks. Why? So made of cheese? It's a meteor. Oh, that's terrible. It's <laughs> <laughs> a zero out of all right, ten. All right, all right. <laughs> what did the green grape say to the purple grape? Greedy, you idiot. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Flash! Fuck! Seriously? Dude, y'all got ran up on. There's easier ways to say hello to a motherfucker shit. I mean. Oh my god! God. Damn, it's a flash and a smoke? Now he don't know algebra, bro. He broke his brain. Right? You know they don't matter with a gun. Algebra? I don't know. Algebra. We were happy. Why is this happening? Of course, Kids, that's why you never be happy. Can't go too soon without a happy mo with a happy moment on the show, you know. <sighs> okay. Fireflies. Fireflies. Oh, yeah, the fireflies. Marley. Like, how you beat me here? Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> I flew. Which route did you take? You were the one person I never wanted to be in debt to. But I owe you. <laughs> I can't. Why? She's being prepped for surgery. What surgery? What surgery? Our drink. Our doctor, he thinks it could be a cure, Joel. A cure. What surgery? Cordyceps grows inside the brain. It does. Bro. We didn't tell her. We can cause her any fear. There won't be any pain. No, you you didn't you tell her? Right he better get his ass mm. whooped. Well, see a lot of people about to be dead soon. Marlene, that was your friend. Your friend's daughter. I was there when she was born, Joel. I promised her mother that I would save her child. I promised. I'm sorry. This is not okay. It's the trolley problem. You can't. I have no other choice. No. Yeah. Don't tell me you're in debt to me to do this. The fuck? Walking onto the highway, leaving there with his pack. No, f d double the fuck. Uh-uh. He tries anything. <clears throat> Shoot him. I don't. I don't want you in debt to me anymore. Should have just killed him here, cause he's about to come back. Down the stairs. Push them both down the stairs right now. Perfect. Where is she? Fine. Well, this. Yeah. Shots well, if he wasn't fired, definitely is now. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> oh, dude. <shots> fired. <laughs> Bro, here we go. Let's go, Mando. It's Joel. He's in the hallway causing trouble. <laughs> it's, a, it's the cure for the apocalypse. <laughs> Bro. Yes. I don't think he gives a shit. Joel Wick. Listen to the song. This is awesome. Yeah. I love how it's like subdued. I haven't seen him take out this many people before. All worth it for Ellie. He's also not wasting any bullets. Woo, you almost walked into that one, Joel. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're gonna die anyway. Boop. Yep. Dang. <laughs> Take his guns. <laughs> Why did he drop his gun? Was that can't a ammo? carry that many guns. I mean, he didn't want to fight. <laughs> Gotta go. Dude. I'll take this gun. Thank you. Thank you. Mm hmm. Oh, God, man. People. Dude, he's just running through this whole building. What the fuck? What? I mean, yeah. You got it. Like, <laughs> after. Look, after someone. Ki one dude kills five of yours, run. These are the fireflies. They're the, the last yeah. hope of humanity. <laughs> But these are the people, they this, are are, this, this is her. the resistance. No. Well, they ain't resisting dying. <laughs> they had a cure. And how are y'all not oh, yet here? This is my question. So good. No. This is so good. This is so good. I love this. I love you guys' reaction right now. She needs to, like, they should have told her at least, like, she could have made that choice for herself. Yeah, they. Uh, that's where they uh, messed up. That's they Ellie's yeah, choice. They can't yeah. afford that in the apocalypse, I guess. And if, like, Joel knew it was Ellie's choice, that's a whole different thing. Oh, my God. Nice shot. Nice. Are you kidding me? On the hunker. How did you get in here? You don't hear these gunshots? I won't let you take her. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 
Man, that doctor was big bad. Marked him. <laughs> Don't come any closer. With the scalpel. <laughs> well, he tried. Uh, R.I.P. that doctor. Mm. Just like Kathleen done did. I'm not gonna lie, I shot him faster than that. <laughs> what? He said he shot him in the game. He yeah, shot him faster. Than oh, that. I beat the shit out. I thought you take the scalpel and drive it into his neck. Oh wow! No, I just shot him. As you reach. Where's Marlene at? Yeah, Joel. What the fuck did you just do? Just murdered all the fireflies. Doubled down on the end of the world. Right, and murked the doctor. Like dog. Um. Okay. Um, uh, can't keep her safe forever. How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. Mm. Two facts. So what would she decide? Exactly. Did you ask her? I think she wanted to do what's right. You didn't even uh -uh. ask her though. You didn't even ask her. Can't make these assumptions. We can still find a way. Man, one man army just raised hell in this building. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the shit out of Marty. <laughs> She's there. They're in a car. It's all right. A nice You're car. With me. You were running some tests on you and some others. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. <gasps> huh? Oh, yeah. The doctors, they couldn't make any of it work. Just lie? Raiders attacked the hospital and barely got you out of there. Now you're making we'll one raider. Are people hurt? Everyone's dead. Jesus. <laughs> Damn, you gotta double tap Marlene. Second time she's been shot in the seat. <laughs> in the stomach, right? like... No. You just come after her. Exactly. Oh, shit, Joe! The only reason there's a second game is because Joel decided the world's gonna stay fucked. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, though, would the, would, would the cure actually have done like, anything? Like, did it actually have, like, contacts I mean, and, like, stuff like that? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm saying, like, even if no. the cure worked, would it have healed this world up 20 well, years actually, after yeah, the apocalypse? Yeah, maybe. It, it, yeah, it yeah. would have yeah. yeah. made, made yeah. everybody yeah. immune yeah. and they could yeah. slowly yeah. kill out the infected and then we could Everybody's surge. Yeah, I think but, so, yeah. I don't know, man. If Those infected were, like, battering people to death, too. Yeah, I mean, people will die, but no more will turn. And they keep on making more. We can stop them from making more. Yeah. There won't be more zombies. I don't. I don't the think so. I think. I think the down. world is already beyond effed, and that a, even a cure would barely do anything. Well, Sarah and I used to hype like this all the time. She would have liked you. Not to say the two of you are the same. I want to say girly, and I'm not saying that you're not girly. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> anyway, I bet you would have liked her back. Yeah, bet I would have. People like this game because they like being traumatized. Hey, wait. Well, maybe that's not what you mean. Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Mm -hmm. Joe. Is this your moment? I swear. No. That was the wrong choice. I mean, they all did. They ain't gonna come back and tell. Okay. But she knows Joe well enough. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Let's wait just in case there's like after credit or something. Oh, that's good. Laura Bailey. Who's Laura Bailey? Who is Laura Bailey in this? Laura Bailey. Who is she? What? Laura Bailey's a prominent voice actor and also a voice actor of a prominent character, very prominent character in the second game. Oh. But I didn't see who that could have oh. been. A nurse? Maybe you're about to get a. An end credit? credit. Which is weird. <sighs> TV shows don't usually do end credits. Well, are this, they definitely going for season this two? This one would deserve that? it if there is they're, one. They're confirmed for a season two, but nothing beyond that, because it's only part two of the game. So I think they should split part two into two seasons because it's so huge. It is. In my okay. opinion, we should have two two seasons to that part two, maybe. Then they're one. Really? <laughs> Dang, dude. <sighs> Thing. No, I, holy I shit. guess not. Pedro's like, other people get to film in resorts for their HBO shows. I get to be in the blistering cold. <laughs> You're serious, right? Well, no, this is the making of them for sure. The, it's a, they, they play a little inside the episode. Each. Oh my god, it's Neil Druckmann. Whoa, he, did you know he's the one? <laughs> <laughs> Neil Drunk, man. Uh, gotta, gotta give props to Neil Druckmann here. And what Craig, a good Craig Mason. show. They did yeah, a really good job. Chris and Marquette, you started us off. What did you think about the ending? Um... When did this game come out? 
2013. A long time ago. Uh, I was in uh, <laughs> college <laughs> in 2013, and people wouldn't shut the fuck up about the ending. Yeah. I is knew that, that he was going to have this choice to make. Is that how yeah. the... Because in the game, do you have a choice? No. That's no. exactly how I mean, it's game. linear. Oh, the game's just like, you're doing this. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, yeah, I remember a bunch of people talking about it and being a big thing there, and I kind of ignored it, but I was like, oh, yeah. Like, I, I, I knew that... I, I thought it was one of those choosing things, so I knew that was coming, but... um. No, man, he, it's fucked up. Like, in the moment, it's awesome to see, but he's literally condemning the world. Mm -mm. And there are a lot of what-ifs on the end of, like, will this cure work? Will it be this? Will it be that? But when it comes to saving the world, there's sacrifices and shit that need to be made. If it was me in Joel's position, what would I have done? I don't know. Probably would have done the same thing. He's a it's, broken man. And he's already killed yeah. so many fucking people. Yeah. For him, he's just like, nah, no, like, it, you're already down that road. Uh, it's an uncanny moment in the game because you're playing as Joel doing all these things to survive that you deem necessary. But then at the end, it like forces you to kill those doctors. Whereas like when I played it, I was like, do I have to shoot these people? Like yeah, there's Ellie on the table. Yeah, Can it, I just grab her? Because I know he takes the scalpel. And like, <laughs> it's, it's brutal in the yeah. game. Like, But like I really think that for the character of Joel that he like, yeah, of course he would. Mm -hmm. He's already talked about all the shit he's done before. He's talked about all this loss that he's had. He's talked about almost killing himself. <laughs> like, he literally came all the way down this road. I, it, it, there's would you no have lied to, to huh? Ellie? Would you have lied to Ellie? If I would, no. like, me, I wouldn't, I don't know. I'd be like, fuck it. I guess, <laughs> this is what, this is what y'all should do right here, right now. Marlene, if you want to save the world, you should shoot me in the fucking face. <laughs> because <laughs> obviously, if you let me leave, I'm coming back. <laughs> Marlene, you kind of know me, so like, yeah, no, she should have killed Joel. I would have, if I was Joel, I'd be like, kill me, just fuck it. Like, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna be Joel like Goldberg. This ride. What do you think, Marquetta? Um, I would have done the same thing as Joel, and <clears throat> I think that when Ellie would ask me, I would have told her the truth because at that point, Joel's is as guilty as Marlene. Like, they're not giving her agency and able to make choices because i mean she i understand she's a child but look at the world she lives in mm -hmm. look how many things she had to endure like to me she is mature you know mm -hmm. and so she should be able to know what actually happened mm -hmm. and she should be able to either tell um you know knowing the risk knowing that like essentially she has to sacrifice her life like does she still want to do it or not mm -hmm. and i would respect her choice I mean, however, she doesn't know in the game either, right? That would be. I just don't like that he didn't tell her in the end when. I don't think she believes him. So she doesn't him know what in the game. I don't Not, think she believes I don't, him. I don't think so. Either. What were you asking? Yeah, that look at the end. Yeah, yeah. She, I think she knows something's she's sus. off. She knows him I, uh, well enough to be able to put two and two together and so, be like, did you go ham? I think maybe they didn't want to tell her because it's something to do with the brain. So incorporating fear or any other kind of like emotion, maybe it would have like. I don't know. Maybe they needed like a clean. It wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, I, don't I, don't think, I don't think that matters. matters. Yeah, no, no, I, I, it matters, matters when they didn't tell her because they just they just wanted. It matters to, when you're eating a cow when you're getting a, if they're going to. Well, but I mean, it releases food. things. Like when you're fearful, it releases things. But that's in your bloodstream. It's not like but the I mean, cordyceps that's yeah. already also around the brain. Sleep. Exactly. They just wanted to get it out of her and not give her the option in case she said no or fought. Just sedate her and get it done. Which is fucked. They never had the option to test way. this before like for them to get yeah. the answer yeah. why this person is immune they found it out and it'd be like yeah the only way to replicate this is this one way to get the cordyceps in her mm -hmm. it is already tricking the cordyceps out here that she doesn't need to be infected that, also that we've never been able to do this test before marlene just shot annie ann right ellie's mom yeah. without saying goodbye yeah. she's yeah. not one to linger on somber moments she doesn't want to have to tell ellie this is what has to happen mm -hmm. she's just gonna let it happen and i do think if they'd asked ellie i think ellie would have said yes because so, she wants she wants like this to happen for a reason she wants to be the cure everyone's asking what would you do if you're joel my question is if you had the choice to choose and you're ellie what would you do probably do it if so that's a sacrifice i mean i i, I think I, she would have chosen to go no, what would you <laughs> oh, what would I do? I, uh, You're Ellie. Yeah, fuck it. Try it. Yeah. Honestly? I'd if, say I'd, I'd say yeah. I'd say I, I, I'd go through with it because like, fuck this world. Like, world's what's, ending. Yeah, like, what's worth yeah. living? Ending. If I am Ellie and I've endured getting almost raped by somebody and... Slash eaten. Slash eaten and just having been beaten by so many awful people, 
I would probably be like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to live my life on my own. Yeah, I'll I'll do it. Find something worth fighting for, worth living for. I'll do it and and keep a piece of me. That way, when we rebuild, if there's ever a chance to clone me again, bring me back. What the hell? And then make me a politician. Wait, wait, you jumping the cloning (laughs) tech stuff in 2003? Look, I'm 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 doing a great sacrifice (laughs) for the world. I should be able to come back with some power. Bush didn't even enter his second term. I feel like, ideally... You know, they could keep her alive for a little longer until would they would maybe try to like find more hospitals and see if there is like more equipment that they can they can like uh, take. I meant there's a mushroom wrapped around there's her brain. There's nothing. This is this is the best <laughs> it was gonna be based on what they got. But I you mean, can the do... the fact that they had a, a surgery room with electricity. Like if if you, I, I think Ellie would have gone through with it because like. I, if, if you guys get a chance to go back through the show, like you'll see all of the pieces and every single character interaction, every single uh, conversation was so super important and, and setting there. Like basically Joel's character arc and Ellie, Ellie's character arc are in conflict with each other. Yeah, yeah I about to say, they, you they, can see that they can't they're, both exist. They're and, at this like apex where they're doing well, but like I feel like, and I don't know what happens in a second, but like they're going to be moving away from each other. She's going, the more she thinks about it, she's I going think to be able the to most it out. important episode was. Uh, or the part of the show for me was like uh, Sam and Henry, um, because like when he was bit, like she was, she cut herself, like trying to like mm-hmm. save him. So it, and in that moment, I think she decided like, I, it's just good, man. Every single interaction they all they had, had a was, lesson, like, incredibly involved. important. And Bill every, and Frank was like opening up your heart mm-hmm. to someone again. Yeah, so like they're both progressing to be better, better people, but they can't be better people together because their their wants are at conflict with each other. I think mm-hmm. uh, an answer to is like, did Joel do the right thing? Not at all. Not like <laughs> like, Joel one has talked about being a monster in the past and here proved that it's probably the most selfish thing any one human could have done like in mm-hmm. this world I would have done the same thing great to see I I don't know me I don't know what I'd have done also y'all were, uh, root, y'all were rooting for Joel when he was killing hell people yeah, because it's exciting in the moment Working again, boys. go back and watch my reaction to Tackle of Titan I was excited what was happening and I was like yeah. oh no this is fucked yeah, but it's are- happening but it's fucked. These weren't bad people. They were the resistance. They, but were, they were trying to kill. No they were trying to kill your kid. Doctors. You're trying to kill my daughter. I'm sorry. You've condemned my daughter. And, and to this death. Was, all right. So real talk. Real talk. If you want to. If you want to. A uh, uh, nitpick. Marlene should have killed him. Marlene should have. They already had him out. It literally. You, Marlene, you she didn't owed do him. this to yourself. She, she owed, owed him. Fucking shit. She owed him a bullet in the back of the head. Yo, I thought Marlene he took her across yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, she was the doctor. I she thought was, Marlene was about it. I thought she was a firefly. What happened? There's honor. Firefly got rolled because of honor. He, he, she probably didn't even think they were gonna show up, and so the fact that they did show up, she's probably like, "The least I could do is let this guy go." Capable you know? people as are hard to come by, like, so she... even if you hate each other, you have to let each. Like the guy in the beginning with the battery, he's a piece of shit, but he like he's part of the yeah, he's, when, he's when part of the mechanism that keeps shit running. So you, you, you gotta like, uh, let, you gotta let certain people live. And caring so much, Marlene should have been like, "Oh yeah, why don't y'all take him out back?" And instead of taking my back, I'm like, why don't y'all do it now? She's already out. We're in a hospital. We can clean up blood easy. I mean, yeah. And yeah. if you want to know why I'm not a Jaeger, it's because Aaron literally has magic powers of multiple choices. And he literally chose to kill the whole uh-huh, entire all about this not finding Let's the cure. And this right is causing now. literally world genocide this way, too. Right I just, um, I don't, I believe that Joel did what everyone would have done if their yeah, child was in danger. If your child was about to be killed against their even like choice or whatever, then I feel like you would have done that regardless of what Ellie would have wanted. Doesn't matter. I'm saving my kid. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I think, I don't think the world is, is savable even with a cure or a vaccine. They're, how are they going to mass produce this thing? How are they going to give it out? So how, all these factions so are, no, 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 these so factions are so, already so created. That, so that like, you think a 20-year horrified world with like, no communication, you think they can just easily roll out a vaccine? Sure, but, 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 but wait, 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 wait. Now, 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 now replace the virus with global warming. Now we're getting into yeah. hope versus nihilism. Like yeah. you, You've made the decision the world is not savable. And that's, that's because this, of, this is what the world is now. But here's the oh. thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> we have literally come from being cavemen people. If you could have had to hindsight them, like, ooga booga, why fucking use fire? World's already done. I don't need to grow a better brain. That isn't, that's not the same thing. The world has already progressed from being a shit show in the last 200 years to not being as much of a shit show now. So, yeah, I do think that with a vaccine, we can make the world better. Which like, they just, literally, they, they can yeah. do it. If, the only, the only thing they could do is stop if, the remaining humans from turning, which how many remaining humans are there compared wait, no, to the amount of it? Enough to let them Did you think curing people that were already infected? Because I didn't think that was the plan. I she thought said it was, No, no, like... 
cure. the cure for people you would give to they already would, existing be, humans. That's a vaccine. Yeah. So that, cure. No, no, there's no way they infected no, 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 would you don't cure the people. Well, there's no bringing yeah, people back. There's no bringing people she back. Said we are talking I know she about said immunity. Yeah, she, it's immune, and then we kill off. Can't cure clicker. Try cure clicker. Yeah, you can't. You you can't, can't you, I'm going over the clicker. Right. They, they, they didn't say that, but I don't think that's the context that she meant. She she meant immunity. Yes. The people that are fucked, they're fucked. We're gonna have to kill them off. Well, regardless, we can rebuild humans by having more of them. We can start to protect ourselves better, and we can come up with a plan to eradicate the zombies. So fireflies are gonna just share this technology with with. Yeah, because they yep. want the world to and be Fedra better. is going to be like okay with it. They're not going to. You're right. You and guess it. what? It, if the type of world I know we live in and make the world better, I don't care. They would they lord that power over. So see, you're 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 making decisions for the world. I just know what this. Do you? Is already no, like. you know? Do know. you know? You have to you know. Do you sure. know? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm being nihilistic, but I I don't know. That but that that's that's what that that's the beauty of this fucking game. It's just it's there's no right choice. It's all fucked. But there could be a right choice potentially, but I mean, we don't even know if that right choice would have worked. So it, it really is like it's it's just it's just grasping in the dark for a choice. It reminds me of Mortis. I, yeah. From Star Wars the Clone Wars. Yeah, because but, he had a choice. He could have stayed there and saved the galaxy. Oh, 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 oh. Self sacrifice and all that jazz. Once well, your kid is in danger, it don't matter. Yeah. I am like all for Joel's every decision he made here. Personally. Yeah, same here. But Except at the same the, time, at the end, maybe yeah. not. The most selfish thing he could have ever done. Telling Ellie would have like broken her heart, but like, she, I, mean, I don't know. She she it out. makes me sad though, because like she was like, I would follow you anywhere, onto the moon, to a sheep farm, whatever. Like you guys had that relationship. I know he loves her, and I know in that moment he realized he was like, damn, that is my daughter, kind of thing. But like, you should have told her truth in the end. Would you kill your daughter to save the world, or would you just? I would not. Pop yourself so that that way the world can be saved. See, then you're not killing your daughter; you're only killing yourself, huh? What? Look at that. Pop Maybe yourself. that's the justification. Like what I'm arguing is probably what Joel is saying to justify everything. Like there's no, I, I really there's no way that. that like that can happen. And like for Joel, he's like, you know, we're gonna be good together forever. But like, I don't know. Think about how much good could have been done. Yeah. For everybody who argues about the greater good, yada yada yada. Here's the actual. The actual, it, <laughs> the actual greater good moment right here, and there, my man was like, and it was done by sacrificing a little girl. No. There is like enough Grinder. logistical power for us to come out of this if Ellie were to be sacrificed. So I disagree with you, Serge. There, yeah, but, but we don't know if it would have worked. But yeah, we don't know if it would work. And, and my biggest problem with the plan is that they were literally, like. I'm not only saying that they should have tried to keep her alive because I care for her. I'm saying it because also, like, it doesn't make any sense to have this one theory. One. They think, like, it's in the brain. And, like, but, immediately like, do perhaps, it. Like, perhaps, like, have they tried to, like, take her blood? Have they tried to, like, maybe, like, scrape a marrow? Yeah, maybe like, study I mean, a little bit. Have, we don't... It'd been, like, six hours. They should at least I'm take saliva, a day or two. Like, I'm you know, guessing it's A week the, of testing. I'm, I'm guessing it's the it's the limited supplies available. I mean, like, I know they had, like, a electricity running in a surgical room, but that doesn't mean that, like, the blood testing machine still works. What? You know, like, it's, it's, it's what they're working with. So, yeah, what I'm stuck. saying is, we've been in this apocalypse for 20 years, mm. and they could have weighed... For maybe even another year while having her test different things before they go for the one option that means that she would not survive. It was a video, yeah. yeah. Like, they're yeah. like, they got her and they're like, okay, let's kill her right they're now. They're like, it's in the brain, let's because take the brain. brain. Like, <laughs> yeah. I get it, yeah. it's probably 99% in the brain. But take, can take we, a little can longer we to decide. Maybe you know? figure things out. But you gotta, like, Joel got there, they, they took like 30 minutes and like, but, all right, we're gonna do this. But you heard them, like, by the time they got to that hospital, they had died so many, almost died so many times. They lost people along the way. There's raiders outside. Like, there, there's also a sense of urgency to, like, like, we can't just like linger in this hospital and, well, then, and there, now we got the electricity chumps. on there's lights in the windows that's going to attract attention y'all got like, taken out by one dude man <laughs> yeah well raiders yeah. at least you're worried all the good fireflies died on the way over because all y'all had left was <laughs> chumps their faces had mad hey man put, put some res- put some that, respect that was on marlene the most video gamey part because joel was just walking down the hallway not in cover just boom, boom. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, just, you letting him walk up on you like the action in this show i feel like needs maybe like a better 
stunt coordinator or something because some of the stuff ah, like, like even it's it was all realistic. in slow-mo too what do you mean it was perfect the man was yeah, right. bullets, you just didn't see it people aren't fighting like they're <laughs> action heroes notes. they're fighting like they're people but he like, was in the hallway with three people with guns towards he, them and he yeah, just gets to yeah. aim at all of them people i mean bullets. even the bill the bill and frank episode bill who's this survivalist is just out in the street not undercover just like right shooting. but the fi- you, you're right it's a ri- but he did i get, just mean they could do he, better he, with he the believability of the stunts that was believable because bill there was fire they wouldn't have been able to see this they were shooting through the chain link fan. He, he got shot. He, he got shot, yeah. So take cover. Like he, why was, was he why was he in the middle of the street? There was no covered that cuz that was a strategy. I don't he, know. <laughs> he's a he's a survivalist that's lived in a bunker who knows weapons. He should have been I behind feel, cover. I feel like that would have been his best vantage. I mean, I don't know, man. I I, I don't I don't see any I just, problem with I just that. Video the, game. they, they could like do they could do a, a little bit better. I don't see that. any problem with it. <laughs> And uh, that was the place. That was the place. That was one hundred percent. That was, okay. You know why it wasn't the place? Because that was by Boston. It the doesn't matter the location. It's an Easter egg. They might have changed the location for the show. That was one hundred percent the fucking place. The Easter egg was the, the sheep farm that they were talking about. Go. That's the sheep I farm, know, bro. Yeah, what do you think that. the sheep farm is? That was what, uh, the spotty. That's okay. sheep. <laughs> Twitch, Twitch, you gotta help us out. Go um, ahead. Great show. Very uh, honestly, it's a nihilistic view. You get to have a little good discussion at the end on what would you do if your kid was at home dying on the floor with a knife in her neck with and the she's immune, and the only way to save the world is to kill your Cut. baby for a little bit of money. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what would you do? Yeah. Classic. Is that one of the pat what ifs? <laughs> Honestly, yes, bro, this is pretty bro, much this a, is a, yeah, this is a Pat, Pat, yeah, this Pat, is a Pat, Pat Ponders. Came, Pat came over last night and did it. He did a Pat Ponders for an anime thing, and he, again, he could, I think he just has shows floating in his subconscious, and he just <laughs> melds like five yeah. things oh and makes a new thing. <laughs> Look for the light. Um, <laughs> well, guys, what did you this think? Been Last of Us. Um, I thought it was good. I think um, it gives you those good questions. Um, Joel is selfish. Yeah, but I are we care. all selfish? This world is selfish. Are we all oh. seriously? Hey guys, we're watching with our Twitch fam. We're about to go chat with them in extended discussion. You could have been there right now. Check out our Twitch. Check out our discount code for and Moth and Wolf whiskey yeah. down yes. below. And Only if you're old enough to drink, be responsible. Hey, it's pretty good. Twitter and Instagram. We're gonna have giveaways for the official glass, the Moth and Wolf glass. It says The Last of Us on it. It, it even says it on the bottle. It's really cool. Check it out. Only eleven hundred made. We already bought like ten. So one one zero. Yours. That's. Oh, 2%. oh, one more thing. I wanted to say that Ellie's mom, actress, mm. looks like older Ellie. And I was so confused in that first scene. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this fucking... That was gay Ellie. Ellie? That's gay Ellie. Like, but so did they yeah, die? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's older Ellie. Is this older Ellie? I, I, I know like, she, I oh, oh, you mean like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought because there was like a time she jump. She looks so much I was like, like yeah. Yeah. I was like, That's, why? No, she's gorgeous. Great casting. She's very, very pretty. Yeah, great casting. Oh, that was such a good... Yeah, I'm just... I'm glad that that they... Got to be in the show, Troy Baker, in, 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 in some yeah. capacity for it was, sure. It was fantastic because right. legendary performances. I don't know. Okay. Okay. No, we're gonna talk to our Twitch people, and you could have been here, you but been you're here. not. You're not. Yeah. Special thanks to our super normies: Jacob D. Van Horn, Joe Mags, Raghav Krishnan, and Keyboard Junkie. See you next time.